Now, if there's one thing I'm asked more than anything in business, it's how do you get your partner on board with your business and money goals? Now, this can be a really juicy topic because when you've got someone who's with you, you can absolutely multiply your money mojo. But if you've got someone in your life who's working against you, it can feel really disheartening. So let's talk about it. say is that your money goals are your responsibility. Don't let your partner be your excuse. I've heard women sometimes say, oh, my husband doesn't like this, or my husband doesn't believe in getting help around the house, so I can't work on my business, or my partner doesn't think that I should earn very much money, or my partner thinks that rich people are greedy. Well, you know what, girlfriend? Your income is your responsibility alone. So that being said, with that bit of a Denise Smackdown, let's talk about some practical ways about getting them on board with your money goals. Now, really importantly is to paint a picture of your life together and really create this vision for your first class life. Now, if you've read my book before, you know that first class life means just your version of a first class life, not anyone else's. And if you constantly speak that into into to being, if you constantly talk about that, they will be much more on board with your business and money goals. So let me give you an example. Maybe before you go to bed, you have a conversation and just say, how cool is it going to be when we can travel first class around the world? How cool is it when you can quit your job and do what you want to do? How cool is it when we can go on amazing vacations? How cool is it when we can help our family with their expenses as well because we have so much? How cool is it going to be when we can have a business advisor helping us build our property empire? Well, whatever it is for you, constantly paint that picture of what your life is going to be like. Now, I remember doing that years ago when Mark and I were not even close to being as abundant as we are now. We lived in a crappy flat. We um, had crappy clothes. We just didn't have that extra money to do the things that we wanted to do. But we would constantly talk about it and we started to speak it into reality. And even if your partner is not very good at that, it's your responsibility to spark that off. And you never know, your enthusiasm might rub off on them. Now, the next thing to do is to talk honestly about money blocks and to start that conversation together so you start to have a common language. That means that you can pull you, pull each other up if you're starting to sabotage or you're doing things in, um, in your life or business that are going against your money values. Now, let me give you an example about this. Maybe you've read my book, Get Rich Lucky Bitch, where I talk about some of the sabotages and some of the blocks that we have around money. And it could be that you do some of the exercises together. You ask your partner what their earlier memories are around money or what their parents thought about money or some of the blocks and fears that they personally have around money. Now, I find that for women, a lot of that stuff's right on the surface. We can totally talk about that fairly easily. For some men, that can be quite buried deep down. So it's worth just digging a little bit in a very light-hearted way, you know, like, oh, what, what would your some of your fears be around money? And then share honestly and openly about some of yours and be vulnerable about it. The next thing that you can do is to, because you've got that common language, call each other out on some of your money sabotages. Now, I remember very, like many years ago, I didn't have enough money to buy good clothes. And I remember walking along shopping with Mark and I was just looking at this window and just going, oh, how cool is that? And he put his hands over my eyes and he dragged me away and he said, don't even look, we can't afford it. And that used to make me kind of angry, but I didn't have the language to talk to him about it. So finally I said, babe, like, I think this is a money block. Like when you say stuff like that, it really triggers some of my fears around money. And I feel like I'm never going to have enough and I don't deserve it. And, you know, I'd really like you to stop doing that because I want to look and I want to start increasing my abundance consciousness and I want to be able to afford nice clothes like that one day. And maybe looking is the first step. So because we could have that common language and because I could call him out on some of those money blocks without making him wrong, it really just gave us a beautiful money relationship where we could talk honestly and openly about money. And again, we started co-creating that vision together. So I would love for you to start putting some of these things into practice. 
And remember, your money stuff is your money stuff. Don't take on theirs as well. Don't let your partner be your excuse for you creating an amazingly abundant first class life. It is your responsibility to build that for yourself and they can come along on the ride with you, but please don't let them be your excuse. So do you have other tips? Have you got an amazing relationship with your partner around money and you've got something to say that will really help the Lucky Bee community? Make sure you post it in the comments below. And if you need tips, make sure you come over to this blog post and read some of the comments and get some of those tips for yourself as well, because the Lucky Bee community is all here to help you create way more fun in your business and create more money as well. I'm Denise at luckybitch.com and you have yourself a lucky abundant day. Hey again, it's Denise here from Lucky Bitch and this is Little Miss Willow Grace. Hi! <laughs> now Willow and I are absolutely passionate about women in business because it doesn't matter if you've got kids or not, but I really see that having a business is your fastest way to creating a life of freedom, adventure and abundance. Now, if you haven't already, I want you to come over and listen to a very important audio. It's probably the most important and powerful thing I've ever created for women. It's about the seven money blocks that are really holding you back from a life of freedom, adventure, and abundance. It's really easy to grab it. You just need to go to luckybitch.com slash blocks, and you'll be able to listen to it straight away. I talk about things like how to get over working for free or for people... <laughs> <laughs> or not charging enough or you know if you're stuck in a place where you're bartering all the time and not receiving actual money so come over and I would love to hear your feedback on it on the page there's a little place where you can add your comments and you can talk about what money blocks that you're working on at the moment and what you're doing to get over them so here's to all of us living amazing abundant lives see you soon bye bye